Hello everyone, my name is Ayushi Jain and in our today's video, we are going to talk about how we can install MySQL. Guys, installing MySQL is a pretty simple task, but you need to follow some steps over here. Let's have a look on that. If you want to become a successful data analyst and want to join WS Cube Tech's premium data analytics mentorship program, then the applications for our second cohort is open. This mentorship program will be led by top industry mentors from Amazon, Rapido, KPMG and Microsoft along with WS Cube Tech. Here we will be covering more than 20 projects in the entire course will also provide you placement assistance in this program. So if you want to be the part of this cohort then link to apply for the cohort is provided in our description. So apply now. And now let's get started guys. So here I'll open my browser and write install MySQL. I'll write install MySQL and here you'll see you'll get a link over here download MySQL installer. Once you click on this over here we have been given a version of 8.0.37 and you have two downloads over here one is the community download one is the web download. The web In the web one you need the constant access of internet so you can download any of them according to your choice. So say I will download this one and I'll say no thanks just start my download. Once it's done, you can press enter and as you can see, I have several downloads over here. So let's save it and once I save it, it is now being downloaded. Let's click on open. Once I open it, here it will ask me for a permission. Click on yes. Once you click on yes, another permission will be there and just say yes to everything. Once you do that, a page will pop up on your screen which will ask you that what kind of download do you want to set up over here. So don't go for full here because it will, uh, in that case you will get a lot of tools which are not required actually. So we are here we will go for a custom download. In the custom one, click on next here from the servers, get the MySQL server. So choose this first file and uh, click on this arrow so that this will go on your right hand side. Similarly in the applications, go for workbench here, choose the workbench and put it on the right hand side and lastly we have documentations in where we have samples and example these are nothing but the samples and example uh, from our databases so these are just practice databases here so these are the three things that we need as of now once we have all these three things here click on next and then uh, here it's asking to download it click on execute once you click on execute it will take a few seconds can take few seconds or a minute depending upon the performance of your PC and your internet connections as well. So let it take a little bit of while and once it is downloaded click on next and now it is ready to install. Click on execute to install all the three apps. Wait for it to be installed. Once it is done click on next again. Here you will see some details are given just don't touch anything just click on next over here next again and now it will ask you to write in strong password. So make sure to write a password which is easy to remember. So it might say that the password is weak but still just, just make sure that whatever you write here it is very easy to remember. Click on next again. Once you click on next here again we have a page. Click on next. Click on next and click on execute. Wait for a few seconds. Once it is executed click on finish and then click on next again and now you will be asked for the password again. So write the very same password that you mentioned there. Click on check so that you can see if the connection is successful or not. Click on next again. Execute. Lastly finish and next again and finish. So here we are done now. And it has been installed. Once you have clicked on finish, it will automatically open the workbench for you. If in case it doesn't open, you can go to your search bar and there you can write workbench and it will display your MySQL workbench. Here we have local instance MySQL 80. Click on this. It will ask you for your password. Write your password and click on save password in Vault so that you don't have to write it over and over again every time you open MySQL. Once you click on OK, it will open MySQL's interface for you. Now this page over here, this on the left hand side, this navigator over here is for the management for the administration. On here, on uh, you'll see there is another tab of schemas. In these schemas, you have three databases that has been provided, which you remember if we, if you remember, we have also installed samples and examples. These are those databases only. If I open this Sakila, in Sakila, we have different tables. As you can see, we have actor, category, city, country, customer. These are the different sample tables from which you can practice something. 
so if you want to practice it you can practice uh, or if you want to see and any of the tables see if i have address over here if i click on it it will open the address table along with all its columns you can also see on the right hand side we have sql additions if you don't want it for now you can see on the top right side we have these three buttons i want to disable the right side part so i'll disable it so that my query is now completely visible to me and i can you can write your query you can increase the size of it by clicking on control or long pressing on control and moving your cursor as well so you can uh, press on control move your cursor and you can increase and decrease the size of the font over here to run anything you can press control and enter and it will run your query so this is how uh, the basic interface looks like on the top we write the query at the center we get the table and at the bottom we see that if the action was successful or not if you want to disable it you can just uh, drop it down over here like you cannot disable it but you can just drop it down over here and whenever you want to see what was the output or what was the error you can just open it over once again okay so yeah this is how it works i hope it is pretty much clear that how we have installed my sql in our upcoming sessions we are going to talk about more such videos so stay tuned guys and for more such videos follow our channel wsq tech thank you